This is an overview of insulin, a drug that keeps in excess of 1 million Australians alive. Insulin is a peptide hormone and an example of a small protein. Proteins are biological molecules which are made up of amino acid residues. There are 20 common amino acids. In proteins, amino acids come together to form a peptide bond. The human body is responsible for the production of many proteins, including insulin. People who have impaired insulin function are known as diabetic. Without insulin, the body is unable to absorb glucose from the blood to convert it into energy. The most common types of diabetes are types 1 and 2. Type 1 diabetes is linked to genetics, while type 2 diabetes is thought to occur due to a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Every day, approximately 280 Australians are diagnosed with a form of diabetes. That's one every five minutes, making it one of the fastest growing chronic conditions. Well, the statistics uh, around diabetes are staggering. Can you believe China has 100 million people with diabetes? India has about 68 million people with diabetes. The numbers are staggering. In Australia, about one in four of every hospital bed is occupied by someone who's either got diabetes or a diabetes-related complication. The total cost to the Australian community is about $14.6 billion a year. There is no cure. Insulin is a complex three-dimensional structure. It consists of two polypeptide chains, A and B, connected by two disulfide bridges. The A chain is composed of 21 amino acids with two short segments of an alpha helix structure and a random coil. The B chain is made up of 30 amino acids with a long alpha helix and a shorter random coil. Small proteins such as insulin pose the problem of being highly unstable. The formulation and method of administration of insulin has changed considerably over the years. Significantly in 1995, the first rapid-acting human insulin was created, allowing for dosages to be administered closer to mealtimes. Insulin is now self-administered, and the patient needs to determine when and how much insulin to administer. More than 90 years after it was first used to treat diabetes, insulin is still considered today to be a landmark, life-saving drug.